Red Feather from Grepax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to fade text in or out. This procedure could be applied to other items such as paintings or images. Notice the beginning of this video after the intro. This was created in Krita, then imported into Kdn Live for further editing. And I know it is a bit rough around the edges, if you will. Open Krita, create a new canvas. Once your new canvas appears, it is time to decide how you would like the beginning of your project to be. For example, do you want the beginning of your credit project to fade in immediately or have some runtime with just your background? For our project, we will place some runtime for our credit background. But first, let us create some text. Go to the toolbox, click on the T text tool, go to the canvas, draw a box. Highlight the text and type what you would like to say. Change the color and adjust the font size as needed. Once this is done in the Krita text editor, click save and close. With your mouse, grab the Krita created text, moving it to a good area, ours being in a centered fashion. If you look at your Krita timeline, for every layer, there is a animation row. Once you are happy with your text and assured it no longer needs vector manipulation, then it is time to merge it with the layer below. Go to the Krita layers, right click the vector layer your text is on, and scroll down to merge with layer below, and click. On the Krita timeline, go to your frame of your layer 1. Move the Krita frame to where you would like your text to start. Go to the next frame slot, right click and scroll down to duplicate frame. Do this until you would like your next item to begin. Take note to what has happened on the Krita timeline. As soon as we click Create Duplicate Frame, we now have a line to the rear of our frame and a line to the front of our frame. Once you are done placing the Krita duplicate frames, go to the frame 0 on the timeline. Grab frame 0, placing it where the text will begin. Ours being frame 7. Once this is done in Krita, if you look back at the frames, all you will see is our background color. After this is done, go to Layers, right click Layer 1. Click on Properties. When the Crit Properties window appears, adjust the opacity to a proper setting to begin the fade in. Keep in mind, the more fade in or out adjustments the bigger the project. For example, my rough around the edges project took 10 layers. Once you are happy with, your, with the opacity adjustment, click OK. Once this is done in Krita, 
Go to Layers and add another layer. Create your text or item once again. Once you have created your text on the credit timeline, move to a frame that shows the prior layer so as it appears on the canvas. Grab the new text, moving it atop of the other so as to have the same center if so desired. Once this is done in Krita, go to the new vector layer 2 and merge it with layer 2. Highlight layer 1, go to the frame where this text will end and the new will begin. Go to add blank frame and click. Highlight layer 2 placing its frame above the blank frame of layer 1. Then duplicate the frames as far as you would like it to run. We will place six frames, leaving the seven for our next blank frame. Once this is done in Krita, go to frame zero, grabbing it, dragging, placing it just above the blank frame of layer one. Once this is done in Krita, now that we know what we are doing, we can place our next blank frame, add a new layer, and create our next text segment. For this, we will be using the at symbol. For centering purposes, once again, on the credit timeline, highlight a prior frame of layer two, moving the symbol to center over the text. We felt that the at symbol was a bit small. In order to fix this, in the Krita toolbox, click on Transform Layer Tool, adjusting the item to accommodate the prior text. Once this is done in Krita, merge your vector layer with the layer below. Then on the Krita timeline, drag frame zero, placing it above the Krita layer two blank frame. Place your duplicate frames, and then add your blank frame. Adjust your opacity setting for layer three. Add a new Krita layer, following all these same procedures. Once you are done with your Krita project or at any time within the build, you can give it a playback, adjusting the play speed as needed. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and Ring that bell in order to receive notifications your way of newly released videos. I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.